that I am Valthorian, born in the world of dragons, and once their great lord, Valthorian, whom men did call the Fire Dragon. Long, long ago, when the kingdoms of men did fight their unceasing wars and peace was a word not even whispered, I broke the great rule of all dragons. I interfered. I came among men, showed them hope, and led those of honor in triumph against the evil. Of those who followed me, I did grant sovereignty to six noble men, certain that they would lead the rest of their kind in a lasting peace. I remained with them for a time, teaching. The mortal world became to me more important than my own. For all I did, I was honored by man. However, the six noble men were tricked into believing that Valthorian was the true mastermind behind the unjust invasion of the human world. King Jandro, who was a trusted friend to me, resisted. But with the other kings also pressing him, finally fell to the foul whispers as well. Then, leading the five turned kings and their armies, the dark dragons came under flags of false friendship and so with ease brought to ruin my sanctum. spirit was sealed in a magical sword, but Jandral, again himself, took a fragment, then fled Vormanex, until at last he came to a small village named Galar. Living as a farmer, Jandral secretly sought to free me, but ever to no avail. Finally, with his last magic, he hid the fragment away and died. The people suffered under the reign of the five dragons. There were those who fought, but with little success. I called out to Jandral's blood, called out to one generation after another, but ever in vain. And all the while, Vormanex, and his dark disciples crushed hope wherever they found it. Entire lands were ravaged. Those men who willingly served him, they became physically the monsters they were, infesting the world further with their own evil. Yes, even I had all but given up hope. But then, at last, there came one who heard, one who also accepted, who had no choice but to... The last of Jandral's blood, a man simply called Dal. 